Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a review on the Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I was just showing you the lip swatches of the ones I have. I ordered 13 out of the 25, they come in 25 shades. They were originally sold out but I think by the time you watch this video it should be back in stock now. You know everyone and their mama and their granddad and their sister's friend, uncle's wife is bringing out <laughs> liquid lipsticks. Every brand is literally out there that, right now. I mean it's cool, I love it. More reason to buy more I guess. I was one of the ones to, to get it when he first when they first launched and it was crazy. I didn't really stress myself out too much. I know a lot of people were online for hours trying to get it, but I just did not want to stress myself. I think I fell asleep at one point and woke up randomly at 5 a.m. and then tried again and it went through. So I got 13. So in the swatch part of this video, I probably put in each um each one what I felt about them. So as you can see, this is the packaging. It's really nice and sleek, it has the colour pop name and yeah it literally rubs off the color pop name ultra matte lip and it's like a holographic type um print and what i found about these liquid lipsticks are the fact that they're very very watery um more watery than the other ones that i own i found that with a couple of them they're so runny that if you were to tip them over it would actually spill out and they all have a stopper at the top so it's nothing to do with the fact they haven't got a stopper at the top it's just the fact it's just so runny. Uh, very, very watery, which I didn't like. A couple of them, so the brown one, and I think tool as well. This is an ABH one, I don't know why that's in there. I'm not quite sure why that is. It's kind of annoying when that happens because it literally gets all over your hands, all over your fingers, and yeah. So they retail for $6, which is a bargain. If you know about all the liquid lipsticks, they usually go for around $15 to $20. They're really like high-end. So one is six dollars. They are drying, but not so uncomfortable. Where you literally like, you it sucks all the life out of your lips. Some of them you don't actually feel when you put them on your lips. They literally dry, and you don't even feel them on your lips, which is quite good. The lighter shades tend to really not apply smoothly. They're very patchy, and because of the fact they're patchy, you want to keep applying more to cover up those patches and it ends up being crumbly and cracky and it just doesn't look nice at all. The light ones to me just did not work. When I first watched them, I made a list of each one and wrote down what I felt about them and I realized that they've kind of changed over time because I felt like they apply better when your lips are dry. I would not put a lip balm that's kind of moisturizing, so I wouldn't put Vaseline, baby lips, that kind of thing. It has to be like a I would probably prefer to use a lip primer. They seem to work better when they're not mixed with something moisturizing, something oily. A lot of people have said that they're difficult to take off. For me, I didn't find that as a problem. I just use simple wipes. They work really well to take them off. You're not left in like an excruciating pain. Like after swatching all 13, I didn't feel like my lips were burning or anything. I don't know why that was, but it just was fine for me. So they're not all rubbish and they're not all perfect. I wouldn't say avoid them. For the price, $6, I would definitely pick a few. I'm gonna tell you the ones I like out of all the ones I have so far. I'm wearing Creeper right now, I think, on my lips. Really, really gorgeous red shade. It's kind of like a dupe to the MAC Riri, Riri Woo. Are they drying? Yes. Are they uncomfortable? No. They only get drying and uncomfortable when you lay them on. Like I said, the ones are apache. You feel like you need to keep laying the, lay, layering them on. And then when you do, it does begin to crumble and just looks and just looks really horrible. Are they smudge proof? Yes, they're smudge proof, kiss proof. But do they last all day? They will last all day as long as you don't eat something that has oil in it. So if you go to dinner with this liquid lipstick on and you're having like, I don't know, something that's got oil in it, it will actually rub off unfortunately not completely but it will rub off and that's quite a, that was a bit of a letdown because i i would expect a liquid lipstick to stay put when they're on they stay put they're kiss proof but once they interact or touch something that's oily they begin to separate so that's because that's the way you can get them off so, so usually what i do is to make sure i have it in my purse or my bag whenever i'm out or eating somewhere and i'm not completely completely like upset about it but i know a lot of people have an issue would have an issue with that i mean i would prefer not to touch up but sometimes you kind of just have to for the price you kind of you kind of get what you pay for for the price but i do like them i like the fact there's so much so many shades to choose from and you know there's 25 shades okay so the ones i thought you need to make sure you get are tool bumble now let me just put these two together 
Oh, another thing. If you carry these lipsticks around a lot, they will rub off. As you can see, like, the name is rubbed off. The little design on the top is rubbed off. It rubs off. It comes off pretty easily. It's just very, very similar. This is Tool. This is Bumble, and that's Tool. I really like Limbo, this brown one. I'm actually meant to be doing a tutorial with this liquid lipstick. So look out for that. Avenue as well, I would definitely get. I would get Creeper Zipper. This is a really nice pair, but it does need slight layering because it, it doesn't completely cover. It's not completely opaque, but it's a good, it's a really nice shade. So yeah, I would say about six of these. Also LAX as well, I forgot to mention LAX. Also a nice, really dark, vampy shade. But for those who are wondering, how did I get these liquid lipsticks here? Because they don't ship to the UK yet or to many international places. I have done a video on this before, but I will do. I will let you know again. There's a, there's a website called ComeGateway.com, and they like a shipping service for people who want to get things sent to their country that the particular website doesn't cater to. So, a lot of US websites don't ship internationally. So what they do is they would give you a an address, a US address, and then they would ship it to them. It's like, I think it's like a big warehouse, but everyone gets a different address. I think and then you ship it to yourself and I've, tr I've used it about three times now it's very reliable I have, no, I have had no issues with them they're so quick the only people that took so long were Colourpop it takes like five days to actually process your order and the shipping was free or shipping was five dollars or something so the shipping from my US address to me took two days so and the shipping about 27 to 30 dollars depending on how big how you know it depends on the weight of your package so that's it for the video i hope this video was helpful i hope the swatches were helpful if you wanted to find out what shades to get depending on your skin tone or if you've a similar skin tone to me but that's it for the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys